Hello, my lovely people. I'm Zoha and welcome to Zoha Insight. I hope you all are doing great and are in best of your health. In today's video, I'll be sharing my top lipstick recommendations, lipstick, lip glosses, lip oils for you lovely people, high-end, affordable, luxury and um, some uh, drugstore uh, lippies as well. So I've already shared my top recommendations videos with you lovely people. There are three parts so just go ahead and watch that video. I hope you're gonna find those videos helpful and enjoying. They're gonna help you to decide the products you want to get your hands on. If you don't want to get your hands on anything it's completely fine. You can wait for some other offers whenever you get a great deal, whenever you want to get your hands on some products, whenever you want to reach stock during payday sale or something like that you can definitely go ahead and do that i'll be sharing some more recommendations in my upcoming videos so do subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever my video goes up plus i'll also be sharing some more recommendations on my instagram plus lip swatches everything uh, all those content pieces that's going to be helpful for you so you can follow me on my instagram so hindsight if you like here is my instagram handle at so hindsight so do consider following me there if you like my content if you want to know if you want to stay up updated about the offers and everything so yeah now without further ado let's get started purchase links of all these beautiful lip colors you'll be getting in description box so don't forget to check along with my some other video links that might be helpful for you makeup tutorials some recommendations reviews plus lip swatches and everything will be mentioned in description box might help you one more very important thing 29th july is a lipstick day so you'll be getting some great offers like buy one get one sort of offers on so many amazing brands so you can also get your hands on your favorite lippies during that sale so that is something i wanted to share with you lovely people now let's go ahead and let me swatch all the beautiful high-end lipsticks first Firstly, let me give you an overview that what kind of lipsticks I like to wear. So I love a comfortable uh, matte, creamy matte, satin matte, so many different formulas I like to wear. I really enjoy experimenting with different formulas and different shade range as well. So I have some multiple shade range, different formulas, different brands for you lovely people so that you can decide as per your preference and uh, uh, these lipsticks that I'm going to show you are of really good quality and they perform really well on lips. So firstly, I'm going to share my current top favorite lipsticks from MAC Cosmetics. And you'll also be getting buy two get one on MAC, which is good. Buy one get one, buy two get one is such a great offer to get your hands on. Firstly, I'll be swatching these four bullet lipsticks. So the very first one is Velvet Teddy. This very first beautiful beige nude shade is Velvet Teddy and I really enjoy using this particular shade. It is so nice everyday wear beautiful nude shade with slight bit hint of peach in it. So it looks really beautiful on a pale fair light light to medium skin tone beauties and if you want to try it with a lip liner you can definitely go ahead on deeper skin tones rich skin tones as well if you wear a deep brown lip liner so in that way this will definitely flatter well mac lipsticks are definitely a cult classic very gentle great formulation they last pretty well but it is a formula that is something we need to experience it feels really nice such beautiful matte lipstick it is and it is not something super drying matte but a very healthy matte not a very satin finish but a really nice matte but slight bit creamy so it is very comfortable on lips next i have is a mocha in the satin finish this is how it looks like i so love to wear this lip color on day-to-day -day basis the second one because this is a gorgeous caramel with a hint of brown in it caramel brown nude that's going to flatter on so many skin tone beauties if you are a rich skin tone beauty do use a brown lip liner you're definitely going to enjoy with this spice lip liner from mac also looks really good so again a very comfortable formula but if you don't want to go ahead with a matte finish but if you want a glossy satin comfortable formulation do try this one out this lasts pretty much five hours on me 
and that velvet teddy is around six hours but that longevity factor really depends on the kind of environment we live in if we are eating a lots of oily food then it will definitely gonna come off but the reapplication is really very easy and also it depends how well we carry our lipstick yeah that is something uh, really nice if you are a sophisticated eater then it's gonna last you for a very long time pretty much on me five to seven hours mac lipstick lasts the bullet lipsticks now the next shade again is my everyday jam i like to mix this one and mocha one as well this is again in satin finish it is in the shade twig the third one beautiful pink color I so love this shade if you don't want to get your hands on Meher because that one is more on the mauve side and if it washes you out the beautiful complexion if it doesn't look that great on you then you can definitely go ahead and try the twig shade because this is going to flatter on all skin tone beauties so well because it has that perfect balance of nude brown with slight hint of mauve but it is more towards pinky brown kind of shade and is having satin matte finish which is so gorgeous flatters everybody super comfortable definitely a must have then i have this uh, retro matte lipstick yes in the shade all fired up this is a gorgeous fuchsia pink color i used to wear fuchsia pinks a lot in my teenage in my college days i used to wear such shades a lot and i always enjoyed super confident shades so if you're looking for a beautiful unique fuchsia pink shade uh, so definitely go ahead and try the all fired up you can also try the ruby woo shade i did a detailed review video on that so you can watch that video definitely this formulation is super long lasting very comfortable but it's definitely necessary if you have very dry lips go ahead with a lip balm underneath and then apply after taking that lip balm off with a tissue then apply the uh, retro matte lipsticks from mac then it's gonna look so good on you now one more lipstick which is actually a limited edition launched by MAC. This is MAC Viva Glam uh, Bhumi Pednekar Powder Kiss Lipstick. This is a gorgeous lip color. I already shared a swatch video with you lovely people. But uh, so many of you beauties think that this is exactly a Meher shade in a Powder Kiss formulation. Whereas uh, Meher is in the matte formulation. But this is not exactly like Meher. Because Meher has a bit of mauve tones in it. So it looks a bit cool toned. Not too much but slight bit mauveish side. Whereas this particular one has a perfect uh, balance of mauve and brown in it. So this is something that's going to suit on all skin tone beauties. Plus the packaging is so good plus a good cause. So I highly recommend you to try this lipstick. Here you can see gold and red packaging. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, lip color. Powder Kiss formulation is one of my favorite formulations from MAC. They just give a beautiful uh, blurry look to the lips. Plus this lip color, you can definitely build the pigment, the opacity, and it looks so good. And this is actually a limited edition. So if you want to get your hands on it, you're definitely going to enjoy it. And if somehow this lip color doesn't suit you, you can wear a deeper nude pink lip liner to create that beautiful pout. Now the next is again one of my favorite formulations. MAC lipsticks in general are my absolute favorite because they are so comfortable and gentle. So this is their newly launched MAC Love Kiss Ink 24 hour lip color specifically in the shade Mischief. Uh, that is my absolute favorite and this is how it looks like. Uh, this particular one survives me super long lasting it lasted me uh, for eight plus hours because i wore for that particular time only eight or nine hours and it was so good it survived coffee it survived munching it survived a bit of heavy meal because that is also something i look for in a lipstick if there is such great longevity and meal survival property in it so i really enjoy that lipstick as well and it should be gentle it should be uh, really comfortable as well so it is exactly like that it feels nothing on lips and just have a look at the packaging if you are a nude pink lover you're definitely gonna enjoy but if you want to try some other shade meticulous is a beautiful uh you know peachy brown sort of a shade and 
um, bodacious is again a nude peach brown like softer version of meticulous that one is slight bit on the rusty side so yeah you can go ahead with those shades as well this is how it looks like and i absolutely love it well for your reference i am nc20 in matte so yeah i have light skin tone with neutral undertone but i like to wear different tones of lip colors now one more lip color that i really enjoy wearing on day to day basis is this mac powder kiss liquid lip color in their best seller shade over the top this is how it looks like it is their liquid version of powder kiss lipstick and i so love this shade this is something that's going to flatter on all skin tone beauties and it gives that gorgeous blurry look plus it is good long lasting on me for 6 7 hours uh light meal is very much appropriate but if you go ahead with heavy meal uh, you need to go ahead with the reapplication but it does not fade completely it fades in an even manner so there is a slight tint on your lips so if you don't want to go ahead with reapplication like me i don't reapply my lipsticks every now and then if there is a slight tint i am good with that so in that way it works perfect so this is how it looks like gorgeous brown if you want to try some pink shade more the merrier is a really good uh, pink lip color that's gonna flatter on all skin tone beauties then i have two matte powder kiss velvet blur slim stick and oh my god i have the over the top shade the same as this one so i really like to mix both of them sometimes I like to create a base with this and uh, apply that liquid one on top and this is again a really beautiful formulation if you don't want to go ahead with a bullet lipstick or a liquid formulation try this one out you're definitely gonna enjoy this is how the over the top looks like I'm gonna swatch it side by side just have a look the liquid version feels more powdery but both of them are absolutely comfortable this feels like a creamy powder and that one applies like a cream and settles like powder and super comfortable so that's what the difference is and also the kind of packaging you prefer is also something uh, you can decide and one more shade i really like is actually a peach shade many of you beauties love to wear a good healthy peach color so this is in the shade mullet over mullet over whichever way you like to pronounce it is a gorgeous peach very flattering fresh peach color and i again so love this shade if i'm doing a really nice deep brown rusty sort of eyes i like to wear this shade it gives that really beautiful warmth to my face because i have neutral undertone and it feels really good they also have this mullet over shade in i think bullet lipstick yes and a powder kiss i'm not sure you can definitely check i'll add a purchase links to all these beautiful lippies in description so yeah okay so next i have one of my very favorite lipstick formulation this is not very much long lasting like it's not like nine to ten hours long lasting but it is such a great formulation from packaging to application to formulation the experience the longevity the experience on your lips for the entire time is luxurious and it is actually from charlotte tilbury this is from the look of love collection a matte revolution lipstick in their mrs kisses shade they have three shades in this collection and just have a look at the packaging i absolutely love it and this is how the shade is if you don't want to get your hands on pillow talk because some of you beauties uh, don't really enjoy that shade uh, so you can definitely go ahead and try this particular one this is a gorgeous uh, peachy brown shade but more towards brown side and less towards peach side so it looks really beautiful everyday color i'm gonna swatch it uh, beside the mullet over from max so you'll be able to understand that how this is more brown and slight very slight bit red tone and less peach just have a look this one is charlotte tilbury and also it is so creamy so comfortable settles matte and it feels really nice on lips for me it doesn't transfer much plus uh, it gives slight bit of blurry effect on my lips which is really nice so if you have uh, lip lines so it's gonna be a great formulation for you and if you want to try a lip color from charlotte tilbury and if you're confused 
You can try the Mrs. Kisses or Walk of No Shame. I'll share a lip swatch video pretty soon. I'm yet to try, so I'm going to share lip swatch directly in Instagram Reels, so stay tuned for that. Next, I have Smashbox lipsticks, and these four are my absolute favorite shade. One more is there, which is a cream to matte lipstick. That's again my absolute favorite formulation. If you're interested in trying Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick, these two are the best sellers. Many of you beauties might already be knowing about this. So this is Driver's Seat. Okay, so this first one right here is Driver's Seat, which is a great coral pink. And it has slight bit of peachy undertone, but more towards coral side. So it looks very flattering on pale, fair, light, light to medium skin tone beauties. And it's great everyday wear sort of shade. Plus these are very long lasting, comfortable matte lip colors. So you can definitely try these out. The next shade, uh, now you will also be able to get this in a miniature version, just like this. So if you want, you can have that for traveling purpose. This is India's uh, exclusive shade, which is Gulabi. And the next shade right here, the side driver's seat, the pink one, this is Gulabi. And I so love this shade. It is a great, super confident pink color. A beautiful mauve tone so this is something that flatters on all skin tone beauties so well and I really uh, love to wear this lip color it is super confident on day-to-day -day basis with makeup look light makeup heavy makeup it looks very confident and I really like it the next shade this brown one if you are more into uh, such gorgeous cool tone brown nude shades you can try the shade stepping out and this is a gorgeous flattering brown nude again this suits pale fair light light to medium skin tone beauties really well but on dusky deeper rich skin tone beauties it performs great as a you know spotlight uh, lip color on center it looks so beautiful super confident and with brown lip liner such great color to have if you're interested in a cool brown look no further stepping out is perfect then i have this deep mauve pink magenta sort of uh, color which is again very beautiful super confident i am wearing the mix of a uh, big spender and stepping out on my lips i like to mix these two shades a lot and you can see very beautiful confident lip color it is so if you have two shades multiple shades you can definitely mix and match and make your favorite appropriate color so yeah this is again a really beautiful magenta pinkish with the hint of purple in it and one more shade i thought of including is this disorderly which is a super confident shade you can see this super rich deep red for all you beauties out there who likes to wear such shades this is super confident looks so amazing with the champagne eyes great bridal color it looks really beautiful so if you're eyeing on such shades um disorderly is the perfect one now one more lipstick formulation is my very favorite from Smashbox. This is always on cream to matte lipstick. I am yet to try the other shades. This one I received free with my purchase. This formulation is so good. It is comfortable. It applies like cream. Give some time and it will settle into a matte finish. That's not going to budge at all. The shade I have is Let's Go G and this is a gorgeous purple shade so if you are into purple shade here is a swatch for you beautiful purple shade yeah super confident and looks so nice on lips even on me it looks so confident and for pale fair skin tone beauties it's gonna look great for all skin tone beauties a beautiful shade but you can also try the other uh, shades as well the nude shade is gonna be so perfect and it settles matte and doesn't bug survives heavy meal what more you need it's just perfect and the packaging is good too now the next i have two two-faced lipsticks one is melted matte liquefied matte longwear lipstick in their best seller shade sellout uh, this is a gorgeous nude pink everyday wear sort of a shade it's their best seller and it is a gorgeous color. I love to wear this shade on a day-to-day -day basis and it looks so good with a deep pinky brown lip liner. Again, super flattering. If you want to try a nude shade, uh, which is on the deeper side, do try the shade Make It Moves from this collection. You're going to love it. 
definitely a must have it is so long lasting if you're a bride to be if you want to have a good high end lipstick with a great longevity and comfortability because this doesn't feel at all on lips it's great and the next lip color that i received in pink love sale uh, with my purchase for free is this one i always wanted to try this one and receive for free so you can also avail such offers so this is two faced lip injection liquid lipstick this is power plumping cream liquid lipstick and i am in the shade give em lip a uh, very favorite shade this is a gorgeous nude with hints of peach in it so it applies like cream it gives that slight very slight bit of tingling sensation not as intense as their uh, lip injection uh, plumpers it's not like as tingling but tingles a little bit just letting you know and gives so plump effect on lips it just looks so good and after a while once it sets in like few minutes 5 to 6 minutes it settles into a healthy matte finish which is so comfortable but there is that slight creaminess and it feels very comfortable and nice uh, if you want to have a really beautiful healthy pout you know plumped up lips you can try this and oh my god <laughs> here is the shade this is a uh, give em lip and this pink nude one is sell out and both of the lipsticks are something that's going to flatter on pale fair light light to medium skin tone beauty is really well now i have four huda beauty liquid lipsticks i think their liquid lipsticks are the newer formulation are my absolute current favorites and i really enjoy using them and they are definitely a must have ones from my side uh, whichever shade you go for it is super comfortable long lasting feels really nice on lips you saw that these are the things that i look in my lipstick and i really enjoy such formulations this is in the shade perfectionist which is their best seller and newer shade in their new collection so here you can see the very first shade is a uh, perfectionist which is a gorgeous pink that flatters on many skin tone beauties out there till medium skin tone beauties it's going to look really good and then we have the shade venus which is a gorgeous a uh, beige peachy a soft nude shade the center one it is again a really beautiful lip color this one going to suit on pale fair light light to medium skin tone beauties if you are a medium skin tone beauty you need to go ahead with a brown lip liner for it to look flattering on your beautiful skin tone i like to mix both the shades these are really beautiful everyday wear sort of a nude lip color but if you're wearing these lip colors with a smoky eye the perfection the next two shades i have in mini version i received these for free with my purchase which is great so the very first is this unique uh, brownish a uh, little bit of red undertone in it it is a unique deep color so if you want something like this it's beautiful this is in the shade first class this is the shade absolutely gorgeous i so love this shade it looks so beautiful with uh, frosty eyes with champagne eyes soft eye look perfect uh, because you're going to have that bold confident lip color so it is really beautiful and this is a great bridal red if you're a bride to be you want to have a great red color the miss america shade is beautiful just have a look at this red shade uh, sorry for the posture i mean i hope you can see yeah this is a gorgeous red lip color such a gorgeous neutral red that's going to flatter on everybody for all skin tone beauties great red lip color to have in your collection if you're looking for a really beautiful burgundy brownish red color because i like to wear this lip color a lot whenever i'm wearing soft gold matte gold sort of eyes with slight bit of champagne hint so this is from lime prime again i received this one for free with my palette that i bought from lime prime when it was launched and uh, i shared about all the details about that palette plus three eye looks from one palette just have a look at the description box for the details and my recommendations video this is in the shade wicked this is their velveteens liquid matte lipstick and a gorgeous uh, burgundy deep rich brownish sort of a shade oh my god it looks so beautiful just have a look at this
I'm trying to cover all sorts of shade range from pale to deep rich shades so that you can go ahead and all you lovelies can get your hands on your favorite lippies and you're gonna found this video helpful. So these were all the high-end top recommended lipsticks from my side. Now let's go ahead with the drugstore and affordable ones. Then I'll share my top favorite lip glosses. Okay, so in drugstore affordable category, I have a bunch of different shades. Now all these shades, again overview, these are comfortable soft matte formulations, some creamy matte formulations. The ones which are super matte and dries down like completely matte, they are actually very long lasting, 6-7 plus hours and the creamy ones five to six hours all right so let's just go ahead and swatch all the lip shades one by one so first two has to be from nika matlux range these two shades gonna suit every skin tone beauty so beautifully the very first one is a nude brown with hints of caramel in it this is in the shade jaeger bomb I like to mix these two shades sometimes and wear these are my go-to everyday wear shades. Super comfortable, uh, luxurious matte formula, not very drying, not super creamy, somewhere in between. And this is the shade Athleisure, which is a great pinkish brown nude. But the Jaeger Bomb is more towards caramel side, like more warm. And this one, Athleisure, is more towards pink side. Now these two lip colors are actually super creamy from Nika. The very first one is Wake Up Makeup. Super affordable creamy matte lipstick. Gorgeous caramel nude shade. I so love to wear this. Uh, again on day to day basis. I'm not someone who is stuck on a particular lipstick every day. I like to shuffle and experience different shades, different formulations every day. So yeah, this is also something. Uh, everyday wear appropriate, super comfortable, super affordable, long lasting, a creamy matte formulation, feels really nice. And if you want something uh, that has a uh, applicator of, you know, liquid lipstick, it should be comfortable, creamy enough, glossy enough, but it should have a uh, longevity and grip of a matte uh, lipstick, then do try Demi Matte range. That's what the range is all about longevity and a feel of a matte lipstick but it has a finish of a glossy creamy matte lipstick so demi matte in the shade basic is again a really beautiful brownish nude with hints of uh, caramel in it but this one is something that's going to flatter on everybody in fact all these shades are so beautiful for all skin tone beauties and i so love it this one looks super healthy now the next two from Nika are their liquid matte lipsticks. These gonna dry down super matte and they are comfortable, they are long lasting and they have so many beautiful shades in this collection. Plus if you're looking for a liquid matte lipstick in a budget, this is really good. The very first shade is my absolute favorite. I like to wear this with a brown lip liner. It looks really beautiful. It is a coral orangey sort of a shade and it just makes my uh, complexion appear so beautiful. So this is the shade Darling Daughter. Something that's going to flatter on pale, fair, light, light to medium skin tone beauties really well. For deep, rich, dusky, tan skin tone beauties, I would prefer you to go with a deeper tone lip liner. And this Boss Babe is again a gorgeous red. If you're looking for a deep red, Super flattering red for all skin tone beauties in a budget and it should be a liquid lipstick, matte, long lasting. Do try a Boss Babe from Nika. All day matte liquid lipstick range. With the brand name, range, shade name, everything will be mentioned in description box, so rest assured. Now, uh, three lip colors that I really like to wear in shuffle, and these are from Love Child by Masaba. Uh, the very first one is a liquid lipstick in the shade Hukum. If you are a lover of a chocolate brown sort of a lip color, then this is the one to go for. Super flattering for all skin tone beauties and very confident, comfortable matte, but I would highly recommend you to go ahead and prep your lips nicely with a lip balm before putting on any liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipstick. Then I so love these, uh, you know, uh, lipsticks. And these are super creamy, so luxurious formula, super matte and healthy feeling, so good on lips. It is an entire experience of the packaging, the bullet, and this is actually quite a unique shade which is meant to be, which is a gorgeous 
purplish brown shade so if you want to have this kind of shade something unique and i also like to wear this a lot with a really beautiful soft matte gold eyes it looks really beautiful now the next shade is again from love child this is the shade meta a gorgeous pinkish brown shade something that's going to flatter on so many beauties out there so if you're looking for a good quality uh, funky packaging gorgeous pinkish brown lip color this is the one for you now i have one lipstick from zion and maiza this is a gorgeous shade plus the longevity and it survives heavy meal as well so i really like this this is a lipstick in the shade apricot blush this is the transfer proof power matte lipstick and i really enjoy wearing this when i am going to having a uh, heavy super heavy meal so this is something that lasts really well if you want your lip color to survive heavy meal just top two three uh, long lasting lipsticks on top of each other just a light light layer with the help of your fingertips so in that way uh, the longevity will be increased and you will get your beautiful shade as well this is a gorgeous mauve pink nude kind of a color so yeah this is again a really good budget friendly lipstick for lovely brides to be and one more shade i really love from uh, l'oreal rouge signature liquid lipstick range i did a uh, hand swatch lip swatch everything review for all the shades from this collection so you can watch that video uh, if you want to know about other shades but this one is a best seller and i'm enjoying this one a lot lately so this is i explore 116 eye lead is again a really beautiful shade but i think that one is discontinued in this packaging it's there in other packaging so yeah you can check that one is a gorgeous mix of a uh, peach brown pink everything but this one is a really beautiful uh, brownish nude sort of a color something that's perfect for everybody on some beauties it's going to look like a deeper brown some beauties it will look like a pale brown as per your skin tone you know for deeper skin tone beauty is going to look like a pale brown nude but very flattering then i have maybelline lipstick and this is actually my uh, current favorite formulation from maybelline i received this in a pink box only uh, last time this is super stay vinyl ink lip color i want to get my hands on something that is more wearable for a day to day basis because this is in the shade witty which is a gorgeous deep mauve shade and i want something you know peachy brownish sort of a uh, pinkish shade every day wear appropriate but this one is good too i wore this for a heavy meal once uh, when i went to a restaurant and this survived super heavy oily breezy meal and it is just a perfect formulation it has that amazing grip which makes it long lasting for more than 8 hours it has that really nice glossy finish at first but uh, after some time glossy finish tames down a little bit and you'll get that healthy a uh, satin matte finish that i also really like because all the time uh, for like 10 hours 12 hours we don't really like much of a glossy finish I, i personally don't prefer glossy finish for like entire day so if it tames down a little bit the glossy finish tames down a little bit after a good meal or after 4 5 hours i'm okay with it uh, it works differently on some other beauties i have seen but i personally really love it and it makes my lip pout appear very uh, beautiful plumped and it is a super long lasting plus my lip lines doesn't really show up so i like that plump sort of pouty effect and very confident pout very even pout so if you want to try this lipstick according to me it is just so good this is the shade 40 witty you definitely going to feel that vinyl ink lipstick on your lips it's not something that's uh you won't really feel it's there you will definitely feel it's there because it hugs your lips for the entire day and it doesn't fade so it looks intact so that's why you definitely gonna feel but if you don't want to feel that you have any lipstick but you want a good longevity and you don't want to have glossy finish but a really nice healthy matte finish and great opacity do try maybelline ulti matte a uh, lip crayon i am in the shade more ruby this also i received last time in a pink box i guess uh during valentines or before that 
So this is again a great shade. They have so many beautiful nude shades as well. This is super long lasting. I like to wear it on the center of my lips and outside a pale nude lip color. It looks really beautiful, Korean lip look. If you want to know how to achieve that gorgeous, Korean, luscious, juicy, healthy lip look, you can watch my tutorial. I'll add a link in the description box for your ease.